goodbye autumn, hello winter. I was quite surprised how uh, little leaves were left on the trees actually. Uh, there's a few hangers on, nothing special though. Uh, sun's just about to come up in a minute. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, I've just come out to my local woodland, take a walk around. I knew it'd be a little bit of fog this morning, so I thought I might as well make the effort, pop out, see what I can get really. Uh, I'm gonna take a walk around. It's gonna be a little bit different. Um, used to shoot in for the past six weeks, you've been shooting autumn photography um, with all the bright colours and that so you've gone from that to a real muted look in the in the woods now not many trees with leaves left on them uh, the good thing is that there is a little bit of mist so so that might add a little bit of atmosphere to uh, the images so I'm gonna probably walk up and down this path and uh, see what catches my eye really as you can see, the sun has just poked his head up over the horizon. So the mist and the, the rays should light up quite well now. I will take a, take a walk up the top of this hill and see what kind of compositions I can get. And have a wander around, uh, get a feel for the place really. Um, once I've got a feel for the place, then I know how, what images I want to take and also how I want to edit them. There's a lot of established trees, big huge ones. Also there's a lot of saplings as well. And um, for, for the photography I want to take today, I don't really want a lot of young thin trees in the picture. I like it just to be big established trees. So you've got an anchor point really to uh, take a picture of and um, get a good composition. Let's take, take a wander up here, see what it looks like. Come on in, let's go up to the sun. Right, first image of the day. Uh, I've just found this pathway that's got a slight S bend right near the end of it. So I'm going to use that um, as a leading line. I've got one, two, three beech trees on one side and one on the other side. And we've got some small beech. They've all died off now, but they've got some really nice rusty colour leaves on them. Uh, I've got a little bit of mist going through the image as well. So I'll put back on the tripod and uh, I'll talk you through this image. Right, so let me talk you through this image. We've got a 20th of a second f5.6 ISO 100. I'm shooting at about 35 mil, and my focal point is going to be the first tree on the left hand side. So we just zoom into that, and then I'm just going to make sure that is crystal clear. And that is going to be my main focal point, that is going to anchor the picture itself. And the trees on the right hand side it's just going to give a bit of balance from the left hand side where you've got these rusty leaves coming across and on the right hand side you've got some rusty leaves as well so you've got basically a balance left and right i'm just going to take that now that should make for a pretty good picture uh, let's pop that into a light room and uh, see how that comes out Well, I've been walking around for about an hour, hour and a half now. I um, was almost losing hope um, to try and get an image. I was backwards and forwards. There's loads and loads of pathways around here. So I thought I'd use a pathway as a leading line because you've got so many of them. So you might as well utilize that. And uh, I've just come across a load of sun rays. I don't know if you can see it through there. You might see it a little bit better on that image there on the back of my camera. Well, the sun's got up high enough now, you can see the rays coming through the tops of the trees there. I'll just wait for those joggers to uh, disappear into the distance. Looks really good composition. So we've got the rays coming through from the right to the left. You've got a nice pocket of uh, bright light right at the end of the pathway. And to frame the image, on the left-hand side, we've got a tree that just comes over on the left-hand side. 
and it is catching the rays as well. I'm quite happy with this image. I'll just put it onto the back of my camera. I don't know if you can see, because it is quite a moody, dark picture, actually. Uh, I've got it on 50th of a second, F11. So I want to get it as sharp as possible all the way to the back and ISO 100. I'm shooting at about 70 mil. And I'll take a few of these and see what these ones come out like. Right, the sun's fully up now. This will be the last image of the day. I've walked up and down this little pathway a few times now, and there is quite a big opening. If you can see behind me, a big opening in the in the canopy, really. Uh, there's a road that runs down there as well, so you might hear a few cars. But this just caught my eye. So I don't even have this to work, actually. I did walk past here earlier on today, and I, I wrote it off. And I don't know why I did, because You've got a pocket of light coming through there and you've just got a few trees, there are a few young, what are they, birch trees, um, just with rusty golden leaves left on them, just the hangers on really. So I'm going to shoot directly into the sun, but I will try and get the beech tree, this big one here, I'll try and get that with the sun behind it, so you just haven't got that real intense look. So I'll take myself back over to the camera and I'll walk through the settings with you. I'm just on manual focus. I'm just going to bring it in to the leaves that are going to be the main focal point. Although they are going to be a little bit washed out, I do believe that I can get a little bit of colour out of that. And then it's just going to be missed in the background. So I've zoomed in and I've got that as sharp as possible. I'm going to take this image now. It's been a bit of a novelty this week. Uh, bright sunshine instead of a heavy cloud. Uh, the last six weeks, I think, that I've been out, it's just been really heavy cloud. So it's been a lot different from what I'm used to. Um, obviously the last six weeks it's been um, autumn. So not really fussed how the weather was with autumn. A Little bit of rain, a little bit of mist. It was uh, ideal for what I wanted. Uh, but today it's been quite a refreshing change to walk around with the sun come out. Um, totally different. Um, I've had to like rethink how I take all my images and uh, all my compositions because the light hits it a lot different from um, if it's just a cloudy day. So uh, hopefully those pictures that I've taken today will come out quite well. well I'm gonna go home now and uh, put them up into Lightroom and give them a bit of an edit. Uh, see how they come out really. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the subscribe and like button down below. Until next time, see ya!